Hey guys, it's Chanel Rose, and today I'm going to be ranking each song on 21 Pilots' new album, Scaled and Icy. These rankings are going to be from my least favorite song all the way to my top most favorite song that I absolutely love on this record. So let's jump right into it. Number 11 on this list is the song Bounce Man. And from what I've seen, this song hasn't done too well compared to all the other songs on the album. It's one of the least streamed on Spotify, least watched on YouTube out of all the songs. And personally, in my opinion, I think the flute or the piccolo or whatever that <laughs> instrument is kind of throws things off a little bit in that song. Rumors say that this song is actually about Ned from the Chlorine music video with references to Mexico. Um, and having his phone off and going straight to voicemail. The one word I would probably use to describe this song is boring, which I hate to say about a 21 Pilots song, but out of all the songs that they've ever done, I would probably say that not only is this my least favorite song of the album, but also probably the least favorite song in terms of the entire band's history. Number 10 on my list is Never Take It. And the main two reasons for this is because one, I don't find the melody very catchy, and two, the lyrics don't really roll off the tongue that well. Although I will say I do like the 80s kind of vibe that this song has, and especially that guitar solo that's added in by Tyler is, is really, really nice. I just wish it would have been expanded on a little bit more or at least more obvious in the song. And I don't know, it, it just seemed a little bit bland to me. Now the redemption of the song, I would say is the meaning behind the lyrics. A lot of people say that this is about modern media, the divide, um, talking about keeping information away to make sure that people are divided against each other. And I think the meaning's really great. And it's just the execution of the song that I really wasn't a fan of. Number nine on my list is Saturday. And believe it or not, I actually don't think Saturday is a bad song. It, it got a lot of hate when it came out for not being as good as Shy Away, Choker, or even their older stuff like Trench and Blurry Face Vessel, things like that. It's more of a summer party song. And to be honest, I think it's a good song. The reason it's so far down on my list is just because it's not the kind of music I would usually listen to. And for my particular music taste, it's not the first song I would play from this album. Because this is meant to be a more relaxed kind of song, uh, more laid back with the lyrics, um, you can tell there's not a lot of depth to the lyrics. And I know this is Josh's favorite song on the record, but if this was being played in the car while I'm in it, it's probably against my will. I will say the fact that they had Jenna's little section in there makes the song stand out. And I really, really appreciate that part of the song. Number eight on my list is Good Day. And it's a very happy song. And you guys might know that I'm not the biggest fan of super upbeat and happy songs. Although a lot of people know the lyrics are not actually as happy. They're actually about grief. Now I was kind of torn on this one because the lyrics, uh, some of them are, are really good. Like, I can feel my saturation leaving me slowly, the opening line. But Tyler's use of the words homie or low key, um, it just doesn't really seem to fit Tyler and 21 Pilots and everything else that we had been used to. I will say I absolutely love the harmonies in the bridge though. And I would say that's probably what saved the song in my opinion. Number seven on this list, which I'm really sorry to disappoint a lot of people here, but it's gonna be No Chances. And don't get me wrong, I really like this song. It brought a lot of people back to the trench era, especially because of the bishop section and the deep blurry face sounding voices in there. Um, but that being said, it was a little too instrumentally empty for me. It's one of those songs that really confuses my brain because I feel like for the ba dum ba dum part, um, if there were more added pads and synths and more backup vocals and harmonies, kind of like what they did with the Redecorate chorus, um, this song could be a lot more emotionally charged, really pull you into it, literally exactly like Redecorate did. Um, so I just kind of feel like that was a missed opportunity for them, um, but maybe they were also looking to make that song instrumentally empty as well. But because of that, that's why it's a little lower on my list. Pretty much halfway through the list, number six is Mulberry Street. The piano riff here is amazing, it's catchy. A lot of the high falsettos here remind me of some of the vocals that Tyler used to show off in his first album that he did by himself, no fun intended. Now in terms of the record scaled and icy, I will say one thing that I didn't really appreciate, uh, shouldn't say appreciate, but didn't really like about the album was that Josh's drums didn't stand out as much as past albums like Trench and Blurry Face for example. There are some really iconic drum beats in there and the only ones that really stood out to me on this album were the two lead singles which were Shy Away and Choker. Now while Mulberry Street drums aren't as prominent as I would have liked, 
they do stand out in, in comparison to all the other songs and so i will say i do appreciate that and then ain't no sunny skies till you finally realize that everybody realize on synthetic highs is probably my favorite line of the song especially how tyler changes the melody for that specific part it just rolls off the tongue so well and i really like that part the only reason it's sixth on my list is just because it's a little too happy for me again i know i say that a lot um, but Trench had a lot of dark undertones and I love Trench so much and I, I don't want to compare the two too harshly because they're very separate um, albums and they stand on their own and they're and they're very different but Mulberry Street again was more a, a lighthearted song um, doesn't feel like there was much uh, deep meaning behind it I guess number five is Choker and I'll be honest when I first listened to this song it didn't stand out to me as much as Shy Away did. You know, after hearing Shy Away as the lead single and then Choker came out, I had, uh, the bar was set pretty high for Choker for me and it, it didn't really reach there. But after listening to the rest of Scaled and Icy, it seems like the song has grown on me quite a bit. Josh's live drumming for this song even is decently complex and you know, the crossovers and everything, it's, it's very interesting and it stands out um, like I mentioned before with the drumming um, from the rest of the songs on the album. Like a lot of people have mentioned, the rap reminds a lot of people of self-titled Taxi Cab and Isle of Flightless Birds are the two most uh, popular songs I've heard in comparison to that uh, rapping section in Choker and I really really love the part. I love the lyrics in there, I love the story that it kind of tells, especially while watching the music video and hearing him say that. Also playing the song on bass is amazing and overall I've just really come to enjoy this song. Number four on the list is formidable and talk about a Beatles style like throwback kind of song um, I never would have thought that the people who wrote kitchen sink would have written this song formidable it really does not sound like 21 pilots but I really do like this song when I first heard the song it kind of clicked with me that this song might have been about Jenna but after looking into the lyrics a little more I realized that this was actually about Josh and sharing that responsibility that they have within the band. I'm just worried my loyalty will bore you is one of my favorite lines. Actually, it is my favorite line in the song. It's one of my favorite lines in the whole record. And apparently Tyler thought so too, because he pulls back all the instruments when he does sing that line. And, and so that just goes to show that that's a little, a little golden treat in that song that I really do like. I will say that this isn't the most original song from them in terms of like the chord progression, the guitar kind of sound, but because I'm a sucker for mainstream Taylor Swift guitar melodies, uh, this song really did grow on me and I do really like it. Number three on this list is The Outside and as my sister said, this song, the intro of this song, should play in a Despicable Me movie while Gru is like walking on the sidewalk and stuff. <laughs> I love the staccato synth melodies that just kind of play along through pretty much the whole song and the little unique rattling noises that occur after a verse just really makes the song stand um, strong on its own and makes it very unique. The chord progression, the dark undertones, the up and down, uh, their nodding part is really, really catchy. So the whole thing about people wanting to like steal Tyler's vibes is a bit weird and out of character in my opinion. I, It's just, it doesn't fit Tyler. Um, but I mean, that's that's probably the one little thing that doesn't really bother me too much about the song. And, and it's a really memorable piece. I mean, the, the rap sections at the end kind of remind me of a slower version of Levitate. Um, and again, that part is really catchy too. Number two is Shy Away. And this is the lead single from Scaled and Icy that pretty much introduced this whole world and it gave me such high hopes for this record. And while I don't think the whole record lived up to the kind of performance and impression that we got from Shy Away, that scream in the live versions needs to be put on Spotify or, or something. Like I, it is amazing. And I, I love that that was added into those live versions that we saw at the concert and then at the Billboard Music Awards. And I think this song has charted really well for a reason. Josh's drums, his drumming in this really, really stands out. And it's just different enough from older 21 Pilots stuff to make this song stand out a little bit and push fans out of their comfort zone and, and listen to this song. But because it's so unique, and the electric guitar in here is just a little bit different. Um, the song does stand out on its own, but it created a whole new era, I guess, for Scaled and Icy. Now, number one on my list, which from what I've heard from you guys is another favorite from you all, and it is Redecorate. And I remember listening to this song for the very first time, laying in my bed with my headphones in, 
and closing my eyes and listening to this and oh my gosh, I love this song so much. Not only is this song a great step up from Trench, a great continuation, but the lyrics are a little bit mysterious. I mean, I've seen some interpretations that the first verse, <laughs> the first verse might have to do with Clancy, but then who is the she in the second verse? Um, just so many interesting concepts that Tyler talks about in the whole redecorate verses and in the chorus as well. But the instrumental part of the chorus is really what solidified my choice here for the number one song. The backup vocals you hear for the final chorus and the same chord progression actually that Morph has, the song Morph off of Trench, um, really makes the song pull at your heartstrings and the way Tyler carries his voice in a very emotional way really made the song my favorite off the record. I'm really glad that this is also the last song on the record. It leaves us with an interesting cliffhanger. And speaking of cliffhangers, I am telling you all right now, like this is, I'm, I'm just betting on this, 21 Pilots is going to release another album in 2021, or at least like 2022. Like I am almost like 100% positive about it. There are just too many little pieces of evidence kind of pointing in that direction. All right, and that is my ranking for all the songs on 21 Pilots' newest album, Scaled and Icy. It's a very interesting album. I'm very curious to know what you guys have for in terms of ranking all the songs on this album, if there are any songs that you really, really did not like, or songs that you really loved, and if you loved all of them even. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. That's all for this video. Stay safe as always. Please get enough sleep tonight. And I will see you guys in the next one.